welcome back to Homeschooler HQ. Thanks for very much for watching and thanks for subscribing to all our social media. Today we're going to do some really fun, exciting science experiments that you can do at home. You're going to need a tray of ice, an ice tray if you've got one, as well, a little uh, metal tub, uh, like a, t a tin, a tin can would do as well, uh, some salt and a plastic bottle. Okay, now go and get all those ready and then come back and watch the rest of our wonderful video. Right, so first of all I'm going to set all the, all the experiments up, let them happen and then we'll talk about what we find out. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take my metal tub, I'm going to put some ice cubes in there, so lots and lots of ice cubes in there, okay, and then I'm just going to leave that in the kitchen. It's quite warm in here, so I'm just going to leave that for a couple of minutes while we're carrying on talking. The next one, I've got my ice cube tray here. I've left a few cubes of ice in there, as you can see. All right. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to take some salt, a spoonful of salt. Okay, I'm just going to put that onto the ice cube like so. I'm going to do a couple of them, just for experiment's sake. And then I'm going to immediately put this into the fridge, okay, into somewhere cold still. All right, our last experiment, I'm going to need this ice, but I need the ice to get into the bottle. I'm going to have to crush this ice first. I'm going to wrap it in a plastic bag and crush it. I'll go and do that, and I'll be back in a moment. Right, I've crushed my ice in the bag, and now I need to get the ice into the bottle. Now, I've got plenty of ice in there. Just be aware it is cold, so you might be best wearing your gloves. I'm going to put the, the um, lid back on. Give it a good shake. So what should happen now is inside the bottle the ice will cool the air inside. Now as the air cools it contracts and it takes less and less space up as you can see. Now when the air shrinks the bottle sides should now pull in. And as you can see the air is now shrinking, pulling it in, pulling the bottle in. So if you remember, we filled this container up with lots and lots of ice, okay? Now what's happening on the outside? Can you get a closer from there? So the warm air around here usually contains lots of water molecules, okay? And when the warm air touches something cold, those molecules now collect back together, just like those here, okay, into those bigger drops, and that's what we can see. And that, everyone, is called condensation. So, if you look closely there, you can see that the salt is slowly melting into the ice. Let me take one of those out. There you go. And you can see the ice is still, the salt's melting through, and the ice is, around it is still frozen. Now that is all down to do with the melting point. So ice does not melt until it reaches zero Celsius, and this is called its melting point. But the salt that I added to the ice, well that lowers the melting point, and the ice starts to melt when it's colder, and the ice around it is still formed. Right, so there's three fun little science experiments that you can do at home using just household goods. Don't forget to post everything you've done on our social media and we'll see you next time on Homeschooler HQ. Bye for now.